you just watched was integrating Google Earth Studio with DJI drone footage using the Maven app. So to start, I'm in Google Earth Studio. I'm going to select Blank Project and I'm going to use a Quick Start. I'm going to use a Fly to and Orbit. To start off, I'm going to search for my point of interest. Drag that and put the crosshair right on the tip of that dome of City Hall. Click Next. It plays through the animation. So I want my orbit radius to be 200 meters, so I can click on the slider and drag. Or I can use the left and right arrow keys. Pull that down to 200 meters. Same with the ending altitude. I'm going to drop that down. I can click the slider. Or I can use the arrow keys. So I'm going to run that down to 50 meters. Target altitude is going to stay at 34 meters, and my approach is going to be from the north. I can check this box here to do a clockwise orbit. We're going to leave it on a counterclockwise, and I'm going to click Next. So it gives me a time. For the purpose of this, I'm going to set it to 60 seconds. And I get my keyframe set up. So I'm going to go ahead and play that. dives down, hits my point of interest, and then starts an orbit. So let's stop that. Now, I want this to start a lot higher. So I'm going to set the altitude, starting altitude, to 30 million meters. Gives me a nice globe shot. If I play that, it's going to dive down. Staying centered on my point of interest. And there we're into the orbit. So you notice when that starts off, it starts the dive immediately. And I want it to stay on the globe a little bit longer. So if I click on the altitude, I'll get the curve. And I've got these handles here that allows me to smooth that out. So I'm just going to pull that out. Play that, see what that looks like. So it stays on the globe for a second and then starts the dive down. All right, that works. Let's go ahead and stop that. I'm going to get back to this keyframe. I'm going to open up a notepad. And I am going to copy that longitude. And latitude. And we'll, we'll need that when we get into Maven. So while we're waiting for this, I'm going to go ahead and click Render. I want this to be 3840 by 2160. And I'm going to submit. Now I can check on the status of that render by clicking on animation and cloud renders. You can see that it's queued. We'll come back to this later once that's downloaded. All right, let's jump out of this and into Maven and let's set up our mission. All right, so we've finished programming the Google Earth Studio portion. We've jumped into the Maven app, and let's go ahead and create a Waypoint mission. We're going to do new mission from scratch. First thing we're going to do is zoom in on that dome at City Hall. And we are going to add a point of interest. 
And we'll tap that right onto the top of that dome. Let's go up here and let's set the speed a little bit higher. Let's go to five meters per second. And we are going to get kind of close to where we think the waypoint is going to be. We're going to drop that in. Now tap on the gear. We'll get that waypoint selected. And we'll scroll all the way down to the bottom. And we're going to edit that. And we are going to type in the lat long that we had from Google Earth Studio. So we've got 38.2401409812961. We do the same thing with the longitude. We got 120 minus 122.037. One eight four three four seven five six one one and OK. So now we've got our our position matching up to the position from the Google Earth Studio. So let's tap again on that waypoint. Let's go up here, and we want that to be at the same ending altitude as our Google Earth Studio, so we'll take that up to 50 meters. Let's point it at the point of interest. And let's go all the way to the bottom and let's orbit the waypoint. So that gives us an orbit radius of 196 meters, which is pretty close to the 200 that we got. And we want, we want to go counterclockwise, so we're going to push the minus gives us one counterclockwise rotation. After it finishes that, let's add a waypoint there. And let's add a waypoint there. Let's go back to the first waypoint. And let's define an action. And we are going to have it start recording at that waypoint. And let's scroll through to the last one. And let's define an action. And we will stop recording on that. Okay, we'll save that. Let's fly the mission. All right, so we have created the mission in Google Earth Studio. We have created the waypoint mission in Maven and now let's go ahead and fly that so let's get the drone up in the air or is that up to pretty close to where we want to be make sure I'm clear of all the obstructions in the area I'm gonna get back to the main menu I tap waypoint I tap my mission and I am going to launch that mission. So the drone's gonna climb up to our 50 meters altitude we set, and it is gonna fly over to that first waypoint. All right, the drone's approaching the first waypoint. Once it gets to that point, the start recording action should fire. There's my start recording and now the drone is going to fly that orbit. Kind of windy so I'm hoping this orbit comes out smooth. I've set this mission to fly a single lap, end up at its initial waypoint, and then come in and fly over the dome and then come back towards home.
You notice the controller icon in the lower right hand corner as I move where I'm not facing the drone. It turns red, tells me which direction to turn to keep facing towards the controller to make sure I maintain control. Okay, we're approaching the end of the orbit which should be at the same point as the beginning of the orbit. Now it's going to fly towards the dome, maintaining its orientation. I'm going to fly the drone right over the dome. And as we move, it's going to maintain pointing at the dome. So it'll start pointing down as it goes right over it. Rotate. And then fly backwards to the last waypoint. Reaches that waypoint, stops recording, and then it'll return to home. All right, let's go back inside. Let's see about merging all this footage together, show you how to integrate Google Earth Studio and DJI drones using Maven. All right, so I've got the footage pulled into DaVinci Resolve. I've got my drone footage and my Google Earth Studio footage. I've got a blank timeline there. So I am going to just append the Google Earth Studio footage. Let's scroll back the beginning play that through see how the render came out and there's my orbit so now I'm going to take The drone footage and I'm going to try and line those up manually so now even though I set the lat long the same as you can see the camera angle is a little different camera setup is a little different so I'm going to pick a point I'm going to bring the opacity down on my drone footage. And I'm going to zoom that in. And I'm going to change the relative position. Get that to line up. Let's run that opacity back up and see how that looks. Pretty happy with that. So let's run the opacity back down to 50%. Let's go back to our point where those were lined up. And let's do a split. Back that beginning stuff off. And let's do a split, back that off, drop that down to the same layer, let's reset that, and let's apply, let's apply a blur dissolve right across the top of those, and let's increase the duration of that. Let's see how that looks. All right, that looks pretty good. Let's go back here. All right, let's take a look at this. Start off with a nice globe shot. Zoom in. Off of that onto the DJI footage. It's not perfect, but you can see there's some interesting things you can do there to integrate Google Earth Studio and 
DJI footage using Maven. I hope you've learned something, and if you have, I appreciate a like, a share, and a subscribe, and we'll see you next time.